Woo, I look <laughs> so crazy. But today has been a day. I worked today, 12 hour shift. Oh, I just realized I just started off the vlog like that. If you're new here, I'm Violet and I'm in an accelerated nursing program in Nashville. And while being in the accelerated nursing program, I'm also working as an extern in a hospital in Nashville. And if you're not new to my channel, you're probably like, wow, I thought this girl had kicked the bucket. Where did she go? <laughs> I haven't posted a YouTube video in literally forever. But no, I'm still here. Um, I just like, I guess I got sidetracked from vlogging and I literally just like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe why this week was the week I decided to pick up and start vlogging again. I literally have no explanation for why I wasn't vlogging. Um, yeah, so I, if I'm being 100% honest, I think I was just getting too caught up with schoolwork, traveling, and working that I just like was too lazy to like put time and good time into editing videos and I didn't want to edit videos if I like wasn't fully into it so like I haven't even edited any of my videos I filmed two week in the life vlogs and I just haven't even edited them because I want them to be good so now that I'm mentally back there um little update I am in week eight out of ten for quarter five and in my program, I have six quarters. So I'm like almost done learning all the information in nursing school, which is so crazy. Like I literally just got chills saying that out loud. I am learning shock and I think some other things for adult health three, which is my critical, uh, critical care class. And yeah, I just have two weeks left basically of lecture and I start quarter six, which is basically just my preceptorship. Anyways, that's a little update on nursing school. Today was a really good day. Um, my patients were <laughs> cracking me up all day. I got to do some in and out casts. I got to help with dressing changes. I actually learned a lot of new techniques for pivoting people to the bedside, to the wheelchair, and like all that because I did work. Oh, Campbell's calling me. I did work on a rehab floor, so that was very interesting today. Don't want to do anything with rehab, but it's just nice to learn, like, because I don't know if I've mentioned on here what I want to do yet. Still not 100% sure that I want to say it, just because, like, obviously if I don't get the job, I'll be devastated. But I don't want to do rehab, so it was just nice to, like, experience that and, like, learn it, even though, like, I don't want to do it. Like, it's still a good skill to have. So, work was really good today. Tomorrow, I have a 7 o'clock workout class, and Wednesday, I have another 7 o'clock workout class. Over the past couple of weeks, my classmate, Sarah, invited me to her gym, and I did, like, a free week trial. It's called ISI Elite Training in Nashville. Freaking love it. It's just so much fun, and the workout is insane. Like, literally insane. So, I did that, and ended up loving it, and so now I joined. So I'm doing two workout classes this week in the morning. And then Thursday, I'm probably just gonna be studying, catching up on schoolwork because I have a group project due. Wednesday, same thing. Thursday, I have class from three to six. And Friday, I have class from 7.30 to four. I am done with clinical. I think maybe I'll update y'all on how my clinical was this quarter because it was actually very interesting. I had a community clinical and a critical care clinical. Yeah, I'll update you on that tomorrow because you know, that's just not something I'm gonna dive into today. And oh, also exciting. This is another reason why I'm vlogging because Thursday or Friday, I forget the exact day. I'm looking for my headphones. Uh-oh, I know they're in here somewhere. But anyways, Thursday or Friday, I get placed in my preceptorship and I'm so freaking excited to share that with y'all. And I'm so excited to know what I'm be doing for sixth quarter. But I'm gonna go home. I am starving, like literally starving. Oh my God, now Lexi's calling me. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, so I'm starving. I'm gonna go home and eat, shower, talk to my roommate because I haven't seen her in like a week. I need an update from her. And then I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta be up early again tomorrow. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow. Good morning, happy Tuesday. <laughs> you can literally see my breath in the car. It is so freaking cold. And I left my like workout hoodie in here. Don't know why I did that. Freaking freezing. It is 6.40 and I'm currently on the way to my workout. I think today we're doing arms, so that should be fun. I always like starting my morning with this playlist on Apple Music. 
puts me in a good mindset for the rest of the day. Drinking my coffee, because if not, I probably wouldn't make it. I'm so tired. Um, I did participate in Cyber Monday last night. Staying up to like almost 11 o'clock at night, online shopping. I was also like getting gifts for people too, so like it wasn't all just for me. But hopefully if any of that stuff comes anytime soon, I'll show it on the vlog. The sky looks so pretty. Not me ordering all the stuff that I didn't need, but not ordering a holder for my camera for when I'm driving. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Okay, I just got off my workout. Um, today was arms. I don't know if I mentioned that. I know, literally my arms hurt so bad. Every time I do arms in there, I don't know what it is, but like I'm like Ugh. <laughs> like literally shaking. But it was a good workout. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it is ISI Elite Training in the Nations. Freaking love it. Highly recommend. But now I'm oh my god, I just disabled my phone for five minutes because I keep putting in, so at work we have work iPhones and I keep putting in my work iPhone password. I literally have done that every single time. So now I have to wait here for five minutes so I can get home. But I'm gonna go home and play Wordle and then shower, eat breakfast, and do some studying. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, watched some YouTube, ate breakfast, all that good stuff. And now if you can hear it in the background, I'm currently listening to Christmas classics. Christmas lights are on, Christmas candles on. Also, just love this. I'm going to make my iced coffee and also restock my coffee. So I normally keep my like ground coffee in this. I got it at Target and I freaking love it, like seals shut and it also came with this spoon that attaches to the top but since i am moving soon i don't know if i've actually updated you with that so my lease ends december 18th and my roommate erin graduates in december and she is going back to virginia beach to work as a registered nurse there so i had to find new roommates. Honestly, I feel like that is another reason why I just haven't been vlogging so much because my life has literally been so chaotic, but like in the best way possible, but just like busy, you know? A lot going on. So I've been dealing with that. Anyways, where was I going? Oh, I actually found two sweet girls on Facebook and I'm moving December 17th. And I'm so excited for that. I'm going to do like a Nashville moving vlog too. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, don't feel like buying more coffee grinds, grounds, whatever, because I'm moving soon. I'm just trying to like get everything out and just not pack, but like declutter, if that makes sense. Anyways, long story short, I have been drinking espresso recently and just like the Pike roast coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead because on um, the Nespresso pods because Erin got an espresso machine for like dog sitting for her friend. So that was very nice. And currently right now I am making French press coffee with the last bit of coffee I had in that package I just showed you. And I'm saving this for iced coffee. But anyway, so I'm just putting these in here. These are just the regular espresso pods, the um, navy blue ones. So I'm putting those in there. And the green ones are the coffee pods. And then the other ones are the blonde roast. I'm just going to store that. And hopefully that'll last me, probably not until I move out, but a good bit. Also, if you're wondering where this set is from, it's just like a little two piece set. I got it from Nasty Gal. I don't think they have it on their website anymore, but they have this pattern in like pajamas. So, love Nasty Gal. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make my iced coffee. 
I just put it in here with some creamer and pumpkin spice syrup. I'm gonna pour that over the sink. And then I honestly don't love the color of this. So, since I already do have creamer in here, I'm just going to add a little bit of the oat milk. And it's the unsweetened vanilla. I really like this because it's still like sweet, but not like too sweet, if that makes sense. This looks a little more appetizing. <laughs> yep, so good. So now I'm going to clean my room because it's a mess in there. <laughs> Let's do some Christmas music. And then I think we're FaceTiming like our group for our project. So I'm gonna try to get most of my cleaning done before we FaceTime and start working on our group project. But that is what I'm gonna be doing. Sorry, my music is so loud, but that is what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple hours. And then probably gonna work on some busy work. And then I have Bible study tonight. Okay, I don't know why the lighting is so bad right now, but I'm just wearing my Gatlinburg sweatshirt and a take it easy hat that my best friend Campbell got me to Bible study. And then I'm probably going to come home and finish some ATIs and then go to sleep because I have to be at my workout at 7 a.m. again. <laughs> Good morning. My bathroom is a little bit of a mess right now, so we're just going to ignore her. But today is Wednesday, November 30th, and it is 6.40, and I'm about to head to my workout class. I just have on Lulu pants, Lulu top. I need to take my necklace off. And then after my workout class, I'm going to come home, shower, and make some breakfast. And then I have to finish... Working on my group project and then I'm going to dinner tonight with some of my girlfriends, so I'm excited for that. Hello, what is up? Um, so I got back from my workout this morning. Sorry, I'm plugging in my Christmas lights, but I got back from my workout this morning. It was like core and cardio. Okay, she's on. <laughs> but core and cardio today literally drained me. So I got home and I made some breakfast and then I sat on the couch for a little bit. And as I was sitting on the couch, I literally could not keep my, my, uh, my eyes opened if I tried. Literally was sitting there like this. I got a lot of work I have to do. <laughs> but you know, that didn't happen, clearly. Sat on the couch, decided to get up in the shower so that way I could get back in my bed. Took a shower, got back in bed, and needless to say, I took a fat nap. Not currently gonna tell you the time. I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally 2.30. Granted, I didn't wake up. 30 minutes ago, I woke up a little while ago. I was just like in my room getting some stuff done. Woke up at 2.30 and now I'm making an iced coffee because I'm just like, when you take, well, when I take long naps, it, I literally feel like I got hit by a train. Like I'm not a nap person. I literally didn't start taking like midday naps until two quarters ago, honestly. I used to like hate taking naps. Like I don't know why. And I think I might be the only one that thinks this, but like naps used to give me the ick. Like, I don't, I don't, like, the thought of them was nice, but it's just, like, the actual doing the nap and, like, having to force myself to go to sleep would gross me out so much because I'm, like, I could be doing other stuff. Like, I could be getting so much stuff done right now. The fact that I'm going to take a nap grosses me out, and I would never take a nap. And then, like, I guess recently it's gotten to the point of where the only choice I had was to take a nap. 
I don't know why I just told you all that. That was just a random rant. But another random rant. I woke up from my nap and I immediately couldn't stop thinking about the mac and cheese I had in my pantry. So, I'm gonna make some mac and cheese because I'm hungry. And I like, forgot it was in there. Oh my gosh, I have mac and cheese. This is coffee from yesterday and I freaking love this creamer. It's so good. I've really been looking for the sugar cookie creamer and I was on FaceTime with Campbell. Pretty sure we FaceTime at least twice a day. But I was on FaceTime with her and we were talking about it and I was getting so upset because every single time I went to the grocery store, I couldn't find the sugar cookie creamer. I was like, the elf is not there. And she informed me, she was like, oh my gosh, I like literally just discovered this today that it's actually the Grinch and not the elf that's on the sugar cookie creamer. So honestly, I probably missed it. So next time I go to the grocery store, I need to get him. And I need to get like probably three of them because I always run out and then when I do they don't they're not putting them out anymore and I get so distraught but this is the mac and cheese I'm about to make and then I am going to work on my group project because I have to get that done today and I'm pretty sure I have a CMS tomorrow so I need to start studying for that but the reason why I need to get this group project out of the way is because I'm actually meeting one of my friends for dinner. If you live in Nashville, we're going to 12 South. We're going to Taqueria, I think. I'm not sure. I've never been, so I'm excited for that. Okay, so I just started some laundry, ran the dishwasher, put myself together a little bit, worked on my group project. I still have a little bit more to do of that when I get back home, but I'm currently taking a break because I'm going to meet one of my friends for dinner. She texted me and said, I need a stiff margarita. I'm like, me too. I'm glad we're on the same page about that. And then when I get home tonight, I think I'm going to try to finish most of my group project. And then I'll probably go to bed. But hopefully I like fall asleep at a decent time because I <laughs> took that long nap today. Honestly, knowing me, I should drink a liquid IV when I get home because I don't know what it is. But every time I have Mexican and I get a margarita with it, I wake up the next morning and I feel so dehydrated. Like, even if I get one margarita, I think it's just, like, all the salt and then the sugar mixed in. My body's like, please stop. Literally, why are you doing this to me? Oh, here I go again. Turning off these Christmas lights. I'm at ground zero down here. <gasps> okay. I feel like I haven't been doing that much, like, nursing school stuff this week. Because we just got back from Thanksgiving break. And we have a CMS test tomorrow that I should be preparing for, but <laughs> here we are. I'm gonna leave the light on for my roommate. Cause she is doing her preceptor right now. I don't want to get home in the dark. That would be so scary. Okay, I'm about to go eat my Mexican and have myself a meal and a drink. Okay, I just got ready for nursing school. I have on figs bottoms and then a figs top. And then this undershirt is from Amazon, it's just navy. But I'm about to go to campus because I'm gonna meet some of my classmates there and we're gonna go over our group project. I'll show you that in a second. What I'm working on for my group project. Because our presentation is tomorrow and then after we get everything settled for how we're going to present, I'm probably going to start studying for the CMS that I have today because I have not even looked at it yet. So, and then after I finish class today, I'm going to go to the grocery store to pick out some things to meal prep for dinner tonight because I need to do that. 
then today I have my leadership class from three to six. I don't know if I updated you, but last night was really good. We went to Taqueria. I don't even, I forget what it's called. But it's off of 12 South. And it was really good. I got um, margarita, an enchilada. And then we went back to Meredith's house for a little bit, had a glass of wine, and just watched a bunch of like movie trailers because we didn't feel like starting a movie, but we just wanted to pick out movies that we would want to watch in the future. So we did that. It was fun, but I think I'm definitely going to drink a liquid IV before I go to bed at night because my nose has been running like all day. Like I'm not about to get sick. We have two weeks left of class. Also, I just found out from my classmates that we are not picking our preceptor ship today we are doing that next week so that will be in next week's vlog kind of sad because i was looking forward to like something good happening this week but well hopefully it's good hopefully i get what i want i think in next week's video i'll go into more detail of what i want and then like what i get and the whole process like how our school did our preceptor ship and like how we got assigned to them i'll do that in next week's vlog so if you're not subscribed stay tuned but i'm heading to campus once i get to campus i'll show you um the powerpoint and all that and what we've been working on and then i have my cms and then going to the grocery store okay so i just got out of class um and it's 4 45 we got out so early we're not supposed to get out of class until six so i'm not complaining <laughs> But it's for reason. I should have brought a jacket. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but I'm about to head to Kroger <laughs> to get some groceries. We had a leadership CMS today. Um, I wish I did better on it, but it's okay. I'm s still fine. So it is what it is. Before that, we went over our presentation, just said everything out loud, because we were worried that we weren't gonna make it between the 15 and 20 minute range for like speaking. Um, we got to 18 minutes, so that was good. I'll show you my presentation when I get home. I just forgot it when I was on campus. But after that, we did like a little review session for our test next week, and then I had to take a mental health capstone. I haven't taken mental health since, what, March? I don't even know. So, I, was, I didn't get to see my grade yet, but I don't think I did that great on it. <laughs> Let's say Christmas classics and going to the grocery store now. Okay, I just got off FaceTime with Campbell. I was actually on FaceTime with her in the grocery store, so. I was talking about what I want to do after I graduate nursing school because I kind of have something brewing in my mind of something that I think would be really cool, but I probably won't talk about it more until I apply and uh, like hear back from the job <laughs> but i'm so excited talking about it we'll see it could not even work out so anyways grocery store haul i got some blueberries because i want to make some overnight oats love putting blueberries in them i got a large cucumber for um the bowl that i'm making tonight i'm doing a mexican bowl <sighs> honey crisp apples because they're the best and they're on sale Two red peppers, so I like dipping them in some dip. I got some avocados for my bowl. I have ranch and sriracha for my bowl, just like as the sauce. I was on FaceTime with Campbell and she's like, you're not gonna be able to find sriracha because they're having the problem with China and they're not being, they're not able to get sriracha. I'm not kidding you, there's two of the big ones left and that was it. I got lucky. But I'm still so mad because I haven't been able to find the sugar cookie creamer anywhere. And it's like actually starting to like make me really upset because I really want it. Freaking best. Like I literally look forward to the holidays for that reason. I got, okay, so y'all, I don't know if you've ever heard of this. I've never heard of it. I'm pretty sure Campbell's family made it up. But every time I go to her beach house, they always have Doritos in the summer and sour cream and they combine them and dip the Doritos in the sour cream and it's so freaking good. And so I just got some for a snack. I know it sounds really gross, but I swear it's good. And then I got tomato sauce because I got a spaghetti squash. Love these, they're easy and like low calorie and very nutritional. And I also just have a bunch of like noodles in there that I need to make before I move out. 
I got ground turkey because this is going in the bowl with taco seasoning. Um, I got salsa because I like putting this on my breakfast. I'm pretty sure I've been showing them you that. Like the egg with the hash brown, so good. Chickpeas are going in my bowl as well. Let's see, I also got, I forgot I got these, pot stickers. I just love pot stickers and I put um, soy sauce on them and like some cream Chinese sauce that I found in the grocery store. And just like put a couple in a bowl and eat that. So I got some of those, but I need to stop buying freezer food because I need to clean out my freezer before I move. I got some lettuce for the base of the bowl and I'm also gonna use rice as well. There's a lot going into this bowl. Cheese, just because I like putting it on my breakfast, like omelet, hash brown things, and I have frozen chili. I got some eggs, because I'm running low on those. Two sweet potatoes, because these are also going in my bowl as well. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm about to finish my glass of water. Maybe have a glass of wine, not sure, because I did drink last night, so. <laughs> okay, so this is our PowerPoint, and we're doing Donaldson. And then these are our slides. So we color coordinated them on like what's, like who's reading what slide, and I'm reading the purple slides. We did like a windshield survey. If you're taking community, you'll learn about this, but you just have to like go around the community and basically just like assess the community, what the community is lacking, what they have, looking at sidewalks, the residents in the community, um, if they have clinics in the community, if they have hospitals in the community. And based off of your windshield survey, you come up with a nursing diagnosis for the community. And our nursing diagnosis is there an increased risk for altered health maintenance among Donaldson residents related to insufficient infrastructure as demonstrated by lack of sidewalks and roadway maintenance because Donaldson has terrible sidewalks. So basically we're running with sidewalks and we're doing our health promotion on that and how putting sidewalks in the community improves the overall health of the community. So that is what our project is on and we're presenting tomorrow. It is not even six o'clock. We're technically still supposed to be in class right now. <laughs> I just did, I went to the grocery store, got on FaceTime, updated you. Wow, I got a lot done. Good morning, happy Friday. Today's Friday, December 2nd. Oh, my camera's about to die. But it is 7.15 and I'm currently making my ice coffee. And I'm about to hit a class. I'm so tired. I like woke up at like five and then I went back to bed and I had the best dream I'll probably ever have in my life. And I'm just gonna leave it at that it was about Zach Bryan. And that's that. But my camera is about to die. And I have um, adult health three class this morning. Okay, I have no idea where that cut off because my camera did in fact die, but I had a long day of class today. I had my community CMS and I ended up getting a 90 and I also did my presentation and it went really well. And then after class, I just came back and worked on some homework and I put on some Netflix while I was doing like my busy work. But now I'm about to get in the shower and get ready for bed because I do work a 12 hour shift in the morning tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching my vlog and I hope you have a great rest of your week.